Wow, check out how high the water is over here at this park. I'll put up a quick picture of this park in a previous video so you can see what it typically looks like. Right now it's all underwater. Fast moving muddy water. This is nuts. Yeah, look at this. Totally flooded. It rained hard yesterday and a little more overnight. Obviously this lake couldn't handle it. I don't think I'm even going to bother fishing. It's just too high and too muddy. Crazy. Crazy looking. Well, I don't think I'll be fishing over here at this spot. Maybe we can check a different spot. Maybe they won't be so crazy. But I have a feeling all my fishing spots are flooded today. Wow. Check it out. There's the dock that I usually fish from. Look how far away it is and underwater. I don't think I've ever seen the park this flooded. There's been a few times when it's been underwater, but Never quite like this. I'm almost tempted to fish it. What do you say? Maybe I can get a bite. That bench looks like a good spot to try. <laughs> Holy shit. I don't even know if I've done the intro yet. Welcome back to realistic fishing. As you can tell, my park is totally flooded. We're gonna make a few casts anyway. Maybe we can get lucky and find a fish. But this is total chaos. Hey, you watching Realistic Fishing with Butterbean? That's me. Keep it realistic. Let's try fishing it by the bench. I never thought I'd say that but I'm saying it today. I'm not really sure if bass will come up in this highly flooded, muddy stuff. They might. They might. It would be an exciting catch if I can catch one up here in the flooded water. Maybe I can get a bite over here by this garbage can. I can just about cast to the edge of the boat ramp where it would be. It's probably 10 feet deep over there now. This is nuts. I'm looking around for signs of life. The only thing I'm seeing are those little buzzy beetles, maybe a minnow or two. All right, we've changed things up. We're going with a small minnow imitating jerkbait here. I hope we don't get hung up on anything, but I really want to catch a fish out here in the flooded lake. All right, this is crazy. This is crazy. Come on, let's get something. Let me 
you check that drag just in case. Just in case I find a monster fish out here, or any fish for that matter. Oh man, I'm running out of real estate and I still haven't got a bite. Look at that, I caught a worm. How weird is that? First catch of the day, I caught a worm on a jerk bait. What the hell is going on today? My name is Harper Grace and this is Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, last cast with the baby jerk bait let's try something else Well, looks like this spot is flooded as well. We got water coming up over the dam. Ah, oh, check it out. Everyone's boats are in the water. Good thing they're tied off. Well, after seeing how high the water actually is over here, I don't think I'll have much luck over here either. But we're gonna try since I drove all this way. I guess we'll start out over that way. We're switching to a yum Christie craw. Try to thread the needle right here. There we go. Oh man, I got a branch or, oh, come on. That was the first sign of life, right there. Looked like a bluegill or something. Maybe going for a bug or something on top. I might need to switch to a gulp minnow to have any chance at all of catching a fish over here. I am just striking out on... Oh, oh. Oh, I said I was striking out and I got a bite right there. My shit's all tangled up because it went flying. Hey fans, this is the headliner Chris Michaels and you are watching Realistic Fishing. So I'd advise you to keep it realistic. Oh man, let's see if we can get another bite. Fish. Oh. Oh. What was that? Jumped and spit the hook in true.
bass fashion. At least I had something on the line. In this case, about a one pound bass. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the Procure. Maybe a little bit of scent will get the fish to hold on to it a little bit longer. I don't want to be missing bites like that. It can get discouraging, you know what I mean? All right, we got a little bit of Procure on here now. Now let's see if we can get a fish, finally get a fish. This flooded water fishing, not very easy. You're not getting away. Yes. Yes. I don't know if this is the same fish that I've been hooking and not catching, but I finally got one today. Challenge completed. We got a thick little bass here, maybe three quarters of a pound. He wants to stay curled up. He's a lot taller than he should be for a fish of this length. Let's get a quick picture. Finally, finally got a fish today. We got him on the Yum Christy Craw. Man, good looking fish, maybe three quarters of a pound. Let's let him go. Mission complete. I caught something today, fishing the flooded water, two different lakes. It has not been easy. We'll make a few more casts to see if I can get another one, but man, it feels good to finally get one. Hi, this is Nicole with the last cast with Tiktaalik, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Wow, what a tough day. Obviously, the lakes around here are flooded, but that's not going to stop me from fishing. I didn't get anything over at my home lake, so I drove all the way over here to try the smaller lake, and it's flooded too. I got a couple of bites and finally landed a largemouth bass. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Even if your lakes are flooded, don't give up and keep it realistic.